Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm here to bring you another EFC 24-7 news report today. Uh, pretty much all transfer news coming out of the club today, so I'll take you through it. Uh, the main one coming from Sky Sports News, um, saying that Bertrand Triore of Lyon is allowed to leave Lyon uh, with Everton, Newcastle, Leicester and Crystal Palace all interested in the forwards. Uh, he's a player who's been linked with Everton quite heavily in the past over recent seasons, recent years, uh, obviously formerly of Chelsea. He, he didn't really get a chance there, so he's gone out. I think he started in France with Auxerre and then come to Chelsea, didn't really get a chance at all in the first team. Went back out to Lyon and he's, he's made his name a little bit there on the wing and I think he's played up front as well. But yeah, a player Everton have been interested in the past, but we're not so sure if we're interested at the moment. But according to Sky Sports, Sky Sports News, we are back in for the player. So that's the main transfer news. But some other, um, some other news, some, some other solid news seems to be coming from the merit in terms of Former Everton left back uh, Anthony Robinson, who left the club for Wigan last year for a fee of about two million. Uh, apparently, he's going to join Sheffield United for a fee of about two million after Wigan's administration. He won't be able to keep the player, so he'll be going to Sheffield United to play as a wing back for them. Uh, whether we've missed out there, whether we could have kept him, because we, we we kind of are in the market for a left back now that Leighton Baines has refused to sign his deal um, because of his retirement. So. Yeah, he, he nearly joined AC Milan in January, Anthony Robinson, but he failed his medical and that fell through. Uh, pretty heartbreaking for the player, would have been his dream move. But uh, no one has claimed Everton are interested at all in going back in for the player uh, who they let go, which is a shame. I, I thought we should have held on to him for another season, maybe loaned him out one more time to Wigan before keeping hold. When um, Bainsey did retire, I think we were relying on Bainsey to stay, but obviously hasn't, so... It leaves us uh, needing a left back. Obviously, we've signed Niels and Kunku from from um, the young French left back. But I understand he needs some he needs some football in the under twenty threes before you're going to play with the first team. Some more news coming out of Barcelona. Mundo Deportivo, so cited by Sport Witness, uh, is to do with John Claire Tadebo, the Barcelona centre back who sh- he should just spent the year out on loan at Schalke. He has two formal offers uh, from. Everton and AC Milan, according to this uh, Barca-based Barca outlet. They don't specifically say each club has made the formal offer, but that's certainly the suggestion. Uh, Barca believe they can get €25 million, Euros, which would represent a, represent a huge profit on the €1 million they pay for um, the players' services to Toulouse in January 2019. Not really got much of a chance at Barca. I think he's only played about three games for Barca. Played a few more times for Schalke, but... He seems a talented player, but I think that is coming from Barca, and I, I do personally think it's come from the club trying to feed interest around the player. But there has been heavy links in the past from Everton to do with Tadebo, so you never know uh, whether in for him. Seems we are in for a centre back. Obviously, we've brought that news to you before. Um, some news coming from Port- Portugal. Benfica manager Jorge Jesus claims Everton are interested in Gremio in Brazil forward Everton Suarez. Strange one coming from the Benfica manager. But he says uh, he is one of the most important targets for Benfica, not because of his quality is a starter for Brazil too. There was also interest from Everton and the German team. Uh, it seems the deal is not yet complete and Everton may still have a chance to sign him. We've been heavily linked with Everton Suarez in the past. But for the Benfica manager to come out and say it is a strange one. But the possibility is still there, of course. Uh, and some other news, Everton is said to be fa- fighting out with Leeds for the signing of John Cordoba. A report has claimed Kicker have, have suggested via shoot that the Blues are keen on acquiring the Cologne striker who, sh- who struck 34 times in the past two campaigns. Valued at £9 million, West Brom are also said to be interested. Uh, we're not really, I didn't think, in for a striker. We've obviously got... Uh, Richarlison Calvert-Lewin up front at the moment with Moise Keane on the bench so we're not really in the market for a striker so not sure how much to take from that one but they seem to be the rumours doing the rounds about Everton today I know a lot of Evertonians are getting impatient at the moment because there's not much uh, activity in the market I think only a couple of Premier League clubs have bought players so far after the pandemic has, has hit uh, clubs financially, and that seems to be the same case with Everton. Seems to be very tiptoeing around the market rather than delving into it with it in such a fragile state at the moment, which is understandable. But Alan Myers has come out to uh, reassure fans that there's Everton are doing everything they can to acquire targets, and we should judge the um, the transfer window when it shuts rather than at the moment. So, 
Uh, we wait patiently, but that's the rumours coming out of Everton today. So let us know in the comments what you th what you make of them yourself and whether you think any of them have anything in them, whether you would sign these players or whether you'd stay away. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the video and join us next time on the Toffee Bleeders. <laughs>